what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Good morning, guys. Back in March, I actually tore my meniscus playing kickball with the team. And we did the gift certificates and more kickball tournament. It was very unfortunate because I was doing a really great job of running very often, almost daily. I'd say every other day. And now, trying to get back in the routine, waking up early, going for a morning jog. I like it because it really kind of sets my mind right and hopefully my knee won't give me any problems. One very important lesson to be learned from the kickball tournament, never slide into second base, especially when you're already down and losing by a lot because it's just not gonna matter and there's no point in tearing up your knee. Good morning, guys. Good morning, I got Nice. All right, Hannah, I'm ready. Are you ready? So, Hold on, let's go in here. I'll give you a little update real quick. We haven't been recording a lot this week because we got the TVs up and Austin's been making us some video, getting all the distributor videos looped together so we can play all of that in the showroom. It looks really good, so good job, man. I appreciate you on that. Oh, yesterday I was just doing, dude, I did IT stuff all day yesterday because our phones are having a weird issue where we call out, but they can hear us. If we call out, they can hear us, but we can't hear the customer, which is annoying. But if the customer calls us, then we can hear them and speak to them. So I played IT guy all day yesterday and still didn't get it fixed. And my computer's on the fritz. So I did order a new computer and hopefully we can uh, make it through. Let's go. So last night, Mike and I looked up how many scooters we sold last June. And it was like 50 something. And so far, because of the weather, we're 15 days in, wow. sold five. Yeah. Well, we need to like encourage everybody to try to sell some scooters. It's like I keep hearing them and they're like, we can't sell scooters when it's raining. I'm like, uh, people don't have to walk in for you to like bring them here. You know? But on the bright side of that conversation is that between June 1 and June 15 of last year, the first 15 days, we only sold 13 scooters. So it's really 13 versus five, knowing that there's, we're about to get busy is what I'm saying. So we really need to encourage the team to get these scooters assembled. Whatever we can do to get as far ahead as possible, we need to do, what we're to do it. Okay, so I feel like the goals that you wrote down here are more like resolutions. I want you to get more specific, okay? Now the reason I'm doing, like I'm, I'm not doing this for me, I'm doing this because I want you guys to be as successful as possible and to achieve what it is that you want to achieve in this life. If you don't know what that is yet, that's perfectly fine because I think a lot of people are still trying to figure it out from the conversations that I've had. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are still like exploring, you know, seeing what's out there. They know they want to be you know, they love it here, they want to be part of something special, but they're not necessarily like driven to accomplish this major goal. If you're a customer and you came in for an oil change, and so you come in and you say, yeah, I just need to get an oil change. Our tendency as service riders is to fill out an SRO and write oil change. We'll check the mileage and we'll say, oh, it looks like you're due for a gear oil change too. Would you like to go ahead and do that? And they say, yeah, okay, great. Like, I'll do that too. And then we go up to the 60 and we're giving them the services that they vitally need. One of the things that I do all the time is I say, I say, hey, it's been, you know, it's been a year since you purchased your scooter. One of the things that I recommend is a basic tune-up where we'll go ahead and check your brake fluid. If, it, if it's needed, we'll add brake fluid, we'll replace the spark plug, we'll clean your air filter or replace it if it's needed. And all, all of that in addition to the oil change and your oil change is $100. So it's $100 total versus 60, which is what you're already spending. Would you like so to go at, so it's a, it's a complete basic tune-up. And these are, these are things, like I'm recommending things that are necessary. I'm not just trying to up tickets. This is one of the reasons why we don't commission the service riders is because I don't want you guys 
selling tires to somebody that doesn't need tires. Yeah. You know, we should we should do a better job of recommending the things that are necessary. Yeah. So I want I want to see you becoming more of the natural leader that you already are. Good? Awesome. Cool, give me a hug. I appreciate you so much. Of course. And, and in a few weeks, I want to see more specific goals. I'm not going to forget it. I'm writing that down. Oh, I got it. I'll think hard. <laughs> I mean, What's the reason for not having commissions? I just don't, I don't want our team to be making recommendations to customers based off the good of their pocket. We've built this company on integrity. I don't want to sell somebody a set of tires for their scooter if they don't need it. And I know that that happens when I take my car into places or I know it definitely happens at motorcycle shops and stuff like that because those guys only make their money. They only get paid based off what they sell. We're one of the few shops where our service riders are not commissioned. They are paid you know, hourly or salaried based off the type of team member that they are. And honestly, if, if I'm paying my team members well enough, that shouldn't even be a concern, right? If they're, if they're making enough money and they feel good about what they're, they're doing and helping customers and, and they're not stressed about bills, they're not stressed about making rent, they're not stressed about these things, then they're gonna be focused on one thing that's doing the best job that they can when they're here. All right, man, sorry to keep you waiting. How's everything going? How are you? How's everything been? Good? Yes, sir. Excellent. Uh, these guys are busy out here, so we're going to go somewhere else. I don't do this very often, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a job. Um, when can you start? If you give me your all and you do everything in your power to help me make this place successful, I swear to you that I will do the same thing for you, whether it's here, whether it's your own business, whatever it is, I'll give you that tenfold from me. Cool, man. Let me give you a tour. I love to do I love to do collaborations with apartment complexes and other businesses in Gainesville so that's some of the stuff that I'll have to do we'll get a clip of it when we go back that way but if there's anybody who wants to um, give away a scooter with their business, let me know because it's it's a good way. We get, we give a lot of value when they when they do it because we're exposing them on our social media channels and doing these types of things. Is, um, we're doing those types of things, and of course we get value when our scooter is on display at one of Gainesville's finest businesses. So, love that kind of stuff. Do you want to stay here with this? I'll go figure it out. This camp is so pretty, dude. The cameraman followed me around for the vlog. <laughs> Like, dude, this is like high you, status. Can say what's up? So when are you gonna give it away? We're doing it September 16th, right before the Tennessee game. Here, here, at the bookstore. It'll be good. Hey guys. Hello. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hello. Yeah. Gentlemen, these are the two clear boxes to replace the ones that we stole from you guys. So, brand new in the box. For them to be able to open it and get the slips out.
Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Yep. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it so much. I know I'm not. Beautiful. <laughs> People are like wondering who the hell we are. Love it. Love that scooter. <laughs> I forgot to have you, I forgot to have you set that up for me. What's up, man? How are you? How are you? My name's Colin. I'm, I'm the owner of New Skaters for Life. Oh, for so real. Uh, uh, oh, okay. We're going to give you guys uh, some extra love on social media and stuff. Oh, great. And so I was going to snap a picture and get it on there and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we appreciate the love, man. So, Thanks yeah. so much. Appreciate the help. Thank you. You're all very welcome. So when customers are coming back in August to pick up their scooters from storage, we didn't do this last year. Customers would wait out front or in the front parking lot or in the service area and it got really crowded because what we'd have to do is come back here, get their storage scooter, and then pull it inside the building. We always do um, tire pressure. We clean it before they leave with it. And so that, that process is just an extra few minutes. So. This year, I'm planning on having like some drinks and stuff back here. So when they come in to pick up their, their scooter from storage, they'll basically just check in, come right here, hang out, wait for a minute. We'll have the fan going, we'll keep them cool, we'll have some drinks, and then we'll get their scooter ready and just make, make the experience just a little bit better for our uh, storage customers so they're not standing out in the heat melting to death. And uh, I think it'll be cool. It's like a little mini cafe. And it's for all cafe. <laughs> So you gotta come right in here. Mom, you wanna be in? Come on. Yeah, mom, mom, <laughs> mom, come on, mom. You have to see it on the yeah. 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 One, two, three. Whiskey! I can't wait till I have a full-time IT person. To deal with all the headaches. This week, my computer, my computer failed and continues to fail. I can get it to run for a very short period of time. Phones have been an issue. Been having Chromecast issues, but... Kind uh, of resolved that. We're still trying to get that worked out. I upgraded light speed to the latest, so hopefully, we, but we're, now we're having technical issues with that. We just upgraded the internet speed. This week, we went from, from 50, what was it? 50.10 to 120. Right. Only oh, there was something else. What was it? Your other? car. Oh, that's different though. I'm talking IT. <laughs> <laughs> Got car problems too. Thank you for watching vlog number 27. We'll catch you next time. Is it 27? This is Darius, NS4 all service rider. Thank you for watching vlog number 27, and we'll catch you next time. That was so lame. But I love it. I love it. I love it. No, I love it.